Hey, what's up guys? DRC3 here back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video. And today we are going to be doing a showcase for the USJ SR EDA. So let's really quickly take a look at EDA's skills. His plus ultra move, Recipro Burst, deals 450% damage to a single opponent. Skill impact is increased relative to character speed, so he gets stronger with more speed. His Somersault Kick deals 250% damage to a single opponent and also increases character speed by 30% for 3 turns. And then his Over Torque increases characters plus Ultra Gauge by 50%, also gives character the ability to use 2 normal attacks for 3 turns. And then he has 2 auto skills, his first one being a Family of Heroes. It increases character speed by 30% for 3 turns when a wave starts. And then his other auto skill, wherever, whenever, Increases character's power by 20% when making two normal attacks. So I do have this eat up up to board 9 on the basic board. And then I do obviously have the first spot on his piece board done. That way it boosts his attack for his autos. Okay, so we are going to be taking on the blood stage. And for those of you who don't know, there is actually a tower challenge for the blood stage. Once you get to the 11th challenge. To clear this stage in six turns with no KOs and a score of 2,000 or more. Now, I have attempted this a few times, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't expect to clear it with more than 2,000 points, but who knows? <laughs> so, the way I've set up this team is I've set it up with a bunch of memories that create crit for your team, and I'll kind of show you really quickly. And so like this one right here increases character's critical hit rate by 20% when equipped by a UA high class 1A character. Also increases character skill impact by 30% if there are any pro heroes on the team. So there we are getting 20% crit. This memory right here is one you can buy from the shop. This one is a very good memory because it increases character's critical hit rate by 30%. When equipped by a hero character, I don't think there's many other memories in the game that increase crit by that much. The second part of the effect doesn't matter all that much, but it also increases character skill impact by 30% when equipped by a UA high teacher. Obviously, we're not getting that part, so we just have this for the crit. And then lastly, we have equipped this memory here to the Midoriya. And this one increases character's critical hit rate by 20% and power by 20% when equipped by a male character. Okay, so I don't expect this to work out. Really what I need to do and what you guys should be doing is getting as many of this memory as you can from the shop, a threat in the way, and then you're just gonna put as many of these memories as you can on your characters to be able to increase your crit chances as much as possible because obviously this memory isn't limit broken so imagine you had three limit broken memories on your three main characters it'd be a lot easier to get your crits and a lot easier to clear ve towers that's what you're going to want to do to clear ve towers faster and easier in the future it might take you some time to farm those out i know it's going to take me some time because the VE Tower challenges all depend on two things, status ailments or crits to raise your score above 2000, and currently it is very, very hard for me to raise my score above 2000. The closest I've gotten was like 1996 or something like that. Really close, but not quite 2000. And, every, not, and you have to beat it in six turns. I don't always beat it in six turns because a lot of it's going to depend on Todoroki's burn which may or may not proc, you know? And I could run Bakugo here and definitely clear it in six turns, but then I wouldn't have the amount of status ailments I need. So that's why we're running the blue Todoroki over the blue Bakugo, who's just slightly stronger. All right, so let's hop in. Right, and I have talked a lot about tower challenges, but once again, I want you guys to pay attention to the Ida, see how much attack he does, how good he actually is for an SR character. I cannot wait for the day we get a UR Ida. I'm very excited for that. Uh, it's somewhere down the road. We don't know when, but eventually. All right, so we'll do his double attack first. It's going to raise our plus ultra gauge and give him double autos. However, we're not going to use his plus ultra next turn, even though we're going to have it. We're going to use this to raise skill impact and this to raise our 
lower speed, I forget. All the Dekus are different. Lower speed, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Alright, 16,000, not bad. Alright, and you can see Ida hit a crit right there, which is very good. Alright, so now we're going to use our Ice Block. Our f well, actually, let's use Ida's Kick so we can see if we can get an extra crit off that if he freezes. Alright, let's go. No freeze. So we did 10,000 damage right there. Oops, forgot to tap. Typically, when Todoroki freezes, Ida will do roughly 16,000 damage, which is very good. Alright, now we'll use Ida's plus ultra. We'll see what it does. He does tank fairly well, but then again, the blood stage doesn't hit super hard. Not a super flashy plus ultra, but still pretty cool nonetheless. And he did get a crit of 30,000. That's really good for an SR character. This Ida is probably one of the better USJ SR characters because he can output so much damage. In terms of damage, I should say. The other characters are focused more on defense or supporting the team, things like that. He's probably one of the best USJ damage characters. And our Ida is bleeding a little bit, but he'll be fine. All right, and then we're just gonna continue our turns, get our plus ultras as we go. Turn six, we should have all our abilities back for one final skill chain. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so like I said, we may not clear it in six turns right here. We'll see. <laughs> Depends on how much these plus ultras do. Something else I can do personally to make it more viable to clear this in six turns that would make it a lot easier is my blue Deku is not even up to board six. He's not awakened yet. If I upgraded his boards, he will be far better. I am currently waiting to upgrade his boards though until we get the double drops on the 24th. So that's coming up on the 24th if you don't know that. So I'm saving my stamina for that. Make sure you save your stamina for that. All right, we're gonna do this plus ultra. <sighs> yeah, we're not doing this in six turns. We'll probably do it in seven or eight, unfortunately, this time around. That's okay though. Yeah, and there's the freeze. <laughs> kind of useless to me. Uh, yeah. It would have been better. See, that 51,000 would have been gone if we had hit, hit Todoroki's burn off the start. It's kind of all RNG and whether you get lucky enough to get it or not. But we will finish this out. We'll see what our final score is. I imagine somewhere around 1,800. We didn't get very many crits and we didn't really land any status ailments. So I'm not expecting a lot, but we'll see. And overall, I'm just very impressed with this Ida because he holds his own in this S stage with, you know, not taking much damage compared to the other characters. He does output a significant amount of damage himself and he's able to get his plus ultra early. However, the plus ultra early I wouldn't really count as a benefit because it kind of messes up your timing with plus ultras. That's okay. Turn seven or eight, whatever that was. Eight turns. Okay, and you can see we got a score of 1900. We did hit 10 crits. I've done this stage before and hit like 15 or 16 crits in six turns, uh, and I've had higher skill chains, so keep that in mind. It's all just RNG, it might take you a couple of tries. The easiest way to beat this tower challenge is going to be to grab those memories from the shop and limit break them and potentially get three limit broken memories on three characters that'll make it a lot easier. However, in terms of what our goal was here to see how Ida does in the VE tower, specifically on S floors, 
He does very, very good, as you can see. He does quite a bit of damage. He tanks fairly well. You put him together with the sport, he'll survive most hits. Uh, and there's just not much to say about him. I like characters. I really do like characters that have the double auto attack. That's really cool and really neat. I wish kind of that it was a built-in passive instead of an active where you have to activate it. Maybe the UR Ida will have two active skills that do damage and then a passive that gives them double autos. That'd be kind of interesting. That'd be cool. But yep. That is the SR Eda. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching. Peace.